Um, I don't appreciate Georgia's bipolar weather because let me tell you, all right, I left the house at 11 o'clock today. I had on some pants, a, a tank top, and a jacket. All right, that was what the weather required Random at the time. Layer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was cloudy and a little dreary, dreary, yeah, dreary, dreary. You know, dreary? What I'm saying? yes, yeah. I got you. And then on my way to come record with you today, I walk out the house and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna wear this. Like it's kind of warm, but no I know one knows it's... what this is." <laughs> oh, oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear my sleeveless shirt and my biker shorts, you know. But I'm gonna put on, you know, because I didn't care since I'm just coming here anyways. Um, I'm gonna put on my boots. All right. Okay. And a little jacket, blazer, because you know I remember it was chilly at 11 o'clock this morning. I walk out the house. Why it's is it hot? I'm like it's 80 degrees. <laughs> what happened in a matter of like three hours? How long have you lived here? Still, it's surprising. Do you realize me. one time it snowed and it was snow covering, just snowing in the morning, full snow. By twelve one two, it looked like it had not snowed at all, <laughs> and it was blazing hot. People going out like take just you see people just carrying puffer jackets like it was so chilly this morning. I'm melting today. I'm like I can't. Georgia need to get this together. I was so I walked out the house like disrespect i'm like i just ripped off my stuff i'm like let me go change you got my- angry? <laughs> yes i think one time i was going on a date and it happened to me where i was <laughs> like like i looked at the weather like okay cool cool i was like picking out everything and i'm actually even though they show always on movies which i hate when they show girls doing this a bunch mm-hmm. maybe i'm just different i don't know i was like nah it's not working i'm like okay how about this match i was trying out different outfits and i was like okay <laughs> this is it this is the move but it right. was like a light long sleeve mm-hmm. walk outside it was blazing hot i'm like <laughs> i'm not going on this date and gonna melt and sweat the whole time <laughs> This is not happening. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Georgia for you. <sighs> Love it. She's always PMSing. I know. That's why I keep telling people. People get mad at me because I said, I'm like, P- she's like, she's going through. No, I used to say. Um, the time of the month? No, not the time of the month. <laughs> what is it when you're old? Death. No, an old woman. <laughs> what is it when you're an old woman? Oh, menopause. Menopause. I always uh, say Georgia's going through menopause. Because oh, you get yeah. really hot and really cold, cold real fast. Yeah. 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 Like, That's yes. a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this thing going. Let's do this. Shut up! Welcome to the Real and Real Podcast. My name is Dave, and I'm here with the gorgeous co-host, <laughs> Eve. No time. <laughs> here on the Real and Real, we take a concept, a character from a movie, and ask the question, what if it or they were in the real world? We write those questions on a piece of paper, put them in Eve's Rubik's Cube purse, and Eve picks one out. We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss. Eve, how about you take something out of the purse? I got you. So... The question is, what if Godzilla was real? Have okay. you seen the Godzilla movies? I've honestly never seen any of the movies. The I have one with, seen. not the newest one? All I know is that there's some giant, I don't even know if he's a, is he a like. Lizard thing? A lizard dragon uh, mix? From what I remember, there was an explosion where we were bombing something mm-hmm. and that radiation transformed now, Godzilla, the that's creature? the one that's on top of the building and, like, swinging at the... That's King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen Godzilla. Uh, the latest one was kind of slow. They mm-hmm. killed the... Mo- Basically, the trailer showed one actor a lot, and you're like, mm-hmm. I'm going to go see that actor. Then he dies, like, in the first, like, ten minutes. Oh, we had <laughs> and you're, and people were like... Chris Brown. We're like, what? <laughs> this is bigger on a different scale. <laughs> It's like, what, what happened? You only showed him in the trailers. We thought he was the guy. No, you gave us the boring guy. And it's mm. going to be a long, drawn-out movie. You saw Godzilla maybe... Maybe 10 you minutes you, of the movie? The Godzilla series? Godzilla actually so lasted So you tell me the minutes. name Fully of the actual Godzilla. movie, the, that, that it character. It should have been called... Some of Godzilla. Godzilla cameo. <laughs> or the foot of Godzilla. Or a leg of Godzilla. Here's a piece of Godzilla. Piece, that's what it should have been called. Piece, piece of, of Godzilla. Godzilla. That's what it should have been called. <laughs> Anyway, um, so the question was, what if Godzilla was real? In three, two, one, go. Let's get it, baby, let's get it. That's all right. No, I'm not laughing at you. Okay, thank goodness. No, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. No. I feel like you've done it on a date before. Yeah. He's like, he's talking. <laughs> he's like, oh, my, my joke was, I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. Uh, oh, yeah. My I, friend texted me. Uh, I'm like, I saw something. <laughs> 
Is the American Dragon. Sorry, I really like that song. I'm trying to think of my last point because I was going to think of a way to kill him, but then I was like, crap, we're doing this in the real world, and the people I'm thinking of are use Power Rangers, but they don't really exist. <laughs> 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 yeah, I did. I was like, oh, wait, they don't really exist. I can't do that. That's funny. So I'm trying to think of some other things. No, things. I like it. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> And we're back. And the question was, what if Godzilla was in the real world? Ladies first. Uh, my first point is that people would die. But there's more to it. Other than death. Yes. Okay. No. Well, yeah. Oh, no. Other than death, Other yes. than death. Okay. How would they die? By getting crushed and then no. flame thrown or barbecued? No. Does Godzilla, he shoot, he has, he fire, he shoots fire? Uh, yes, he does. In case I cut this out, just so lizard? y'all know, she doesn't know much about Godzilla. <laughs> so, I don't know how she's passing in her whole lifetime, but okay. Because everyone else knows. Because I saw Rugrats, and that was enough. That's not Godzilla. <laughs> might as, might it's as just well, a dinosaur. he spit fire. He, does, he, does Reptar spit fire? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. He huh. spits fire, I think, maybe. I, I think you're making this up. Maybe, I, don't know. <laughs> I think you just don't know. I mean, but yes, he's a Godzilla spit, spit, spits fire. Yes, he's fire a comes out of his mouth. Dragon spitting fire. He creature. is mutated. Okay. Mm. Anyway. Okay. Um. So yes. <laughs> How will they would die? die? They would die because there would be more tsunamis. Because he's gonna be walking <laughs> <laughs> every time he steps in the water. <laughs> it's gonna create a huge. <laughs> my stomach already hurts. Oh my god! A huge tsunami. of all the things to die from. <laughs> What, how did you die? I died from a tsunami. How? But how? It was created by Godzilla. Exactly. Well, I mean, you're not gonna know that. That's story. like someone saying, "Oh man, I got shot." It's like, "Oh man, who shot at you?" Oh no, nah, that's not how it happened. See, uh, someone was shooting at somebody else, and it ricocheted off of something else, and then that smacked a pan, and that pan fell on the gun, and that gun shot me. <laughs> so technically, nobody shot me. Right. right? <laughs> Right. So yeah, Godzilla being Godzilla being real will create more tsunamis. Will create but what if he's on deaths. land? Well, we're not talking about the times he's on land. Just water. We just well, on water. if you think about it, earthquakes. Yeah, because earthquakes cause tsunamis. So that's how a tsunami is created. If there's an earthquake somewhere, somewhere in the out there in the distant ocean. <laughs> You're a great science teacher. Right. So we're in the distant ocean. Yes. Now there's an earthquake that pass creates. This test. And then the ripple effect of the waves, it keeps building and building because it has nothing to hit up against to stop it. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. So then you have this ginormous tsunami that for some reason keeps hitting Japan or whatever. <laughs> or what is it, Indonesia? They keep getting hit like every three years. <laughs> a world is coming to an end. But that's all for my <laughs> point. <laughs> you have time? I have nothing to go against that. Okay. I know, I got this. I don't know about that, but okay. My first point is that everyone would blame the president. Yes. Okay. Now, he's going to have nothing to do with it, but I notice in today's culture, no matter what, everything is blamed on the president, even if the president has nothing to do with it. For instance, in our current election, uh, well, not the president, kind of the president, but mostly Hillary Clinton, she's being blamed uh, via the other Blame candidate the for ISIS. Like, um, she's you're being the... blamed for ISIS? Yes, that's what he's saying. That's what Trump is saying. Oh, is she's, she's, she, she created, her and Obama created ISIS because of their, um, the way they left mm-hmm. the area. Mm-hmm. And of course, people blamed uh, Bush for 9 11 mm-hmm. because he somehow made these planes do this. Well, uh, now. See. No, I'm not going to conspiracy <laughs> theories. Please, no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying the point. <laughs> I don't want to go down that rabbit hole, please. The point made is that people always blame the president for everything. So when this giant lizard comes up, they're like, "Oh my gosh, this fire. it's the president's fault. Why did you do this? How did you create this? Like, what's wrong with you? How that could would be. You that's not? a legit point. That would it's a good point. That's exactly how it would happen. Exactly. I don't see why people do this as if. Well, My, if you wanted to go into the conspiracy theory, no, you explain why. But, <laughs> but some of them don't make sense. Like, yes. oh, man, I got an F on my test. It's because Obama <laughs> <laughs> now we just wasn't it. in office that day. I would have got an A on my test. Did you Did you study? No, but Obama <laughs> right. should have been working. Right. Then I would have got an A because the teacher would have had a good day because she would have knew Obama was in office. She didn't <laughs> have nothing to worry about. She would have been on a good, good, uh, good mindset. She would have graded these tests on the curve. I would have got an A. That's how it all works. Mm-hmm. No, that's not how <laughs> That's not, how, that's not how any of this works. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's that's the most bulk of my point, my little my little rubbish point. The last two are just amazing. But go ahead, what's your next point? Mine is pretty creative too. Um, so I really think about the society when I'm thinking about these points, right? Because Power Rangers. <laughs> No, stop it. <laughs> Don't give away my last point now. What? <laughs> we'll get to Power Rangers. No. But anyway. <laughs> um, there, so if Godzilla were real and roaming around doing his lizard dragon thing that he does, right? Okay. <laughs> there would be another area for jobs. <laughs> like, go with me now. <laughs> Oh, as much as you mentioned <laughs> jobs on this, you really care about the peop- exactly. people having jobs. Because, one, you give an example in the past about, um, I forgot. It was maybe, more construction, was construction, more jobs, construction or jobs or something for Maze Runner. Maze Runner. For mm-hmm. uh, cars, or Transformers. For Transformers being Uber, you're like, that takes away these people's <laughs> jobs. jobs. For uh, Fantastic <laughs> Four uh, doing regular jobs, you're like, it takes away from the police and stuff like that, their jobs. <laughs> Uh, what was, oh my gosh, hold up, there was another one. I, was I just like, these people in employment, oh, man. Oh, 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 with the celebrities and, um, oh, in the Hunger double. Games, yeah. you said, no, we don't want to take away that job. <laughs> we want to take away the celebrities' job. We just kill off the stunt double. I can't believe really people's, jobs. people's jobs. Yes, man. You My know? goodness. Because okay. I'm looking for a new You'd be one. You'd a great president. If it was less people. So if you had a job and your job was, like, paying you a substantial amount of money. Mm-hmm. Would you care about other people having jobs as much? Because it wouldn't be on your mind. It wouldn't be in your forefront. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to I it. I feel like we'll get to that bridge and you'll burn it. <laughs> <laughs> no one else can have these jobs. Yeah, pretty much. But, but yeah. no, it will create more jobs for um, government employees. Mm-hmm. Because for, well, the government waste employees because we would need somebody to come around. Think of his food. <laughs> Clean up the poop. <laughs> yep, yep. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Now imagine that. that I would think, at least in Georgia, that would probably pay around like twenty-two an hour. Because that's twenty-two. <laughs> that should pay fifty an hour. If no, not a No, because you're gonna have at least like you know four or seven. That people poop per is poop. the size of like. <laughs> A whole city block. <laughs> it's the size of probably Maine. Like that whole poop is the size of Maine. Oh, you know what? I want to go to Maine one day. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Maine. I'm just saying you complain Why? about the weather here and it being cold to hot. Maine is just straight cold all well, the time. I don't think you're a cold girl. No. Yeah. Well, I do love the cold. I don't like the snow. I hate the snow. You hate snow, but love cold. Yes. I think I have the opposite effect. I like snow. No, maybe I'm the same way. Maybe I'm the same way. <laughs> I, that, mm, I like no. cold weather. I don't mm. necessarily, especially for such hairdos and whatnot. Mm. It, it helps out because, you know, it's not hot and sweaty. And exactly, like so, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, cool. more jobs will be created. Because of poop. For people, right. Not, pick I thought you, see, poop. I thought you were going for, like, people would have to save other people or go help other people. Or, well, no, um, those jobs already exist. No, but you have to employ more people to go help other people. I, I mean, know, they we're can't... creating a whole other sector of a job. Oh, this is just a new. Mm-hmm. Just, we're not. It, those are the people have been already employed. Exactly. This is the poop brigade. Exactly. To... <laughs> <laughs> the gods so, of poop. God, God, God's a poop brigade <laughs> to go clean up Godzilla's poop. Mm-hmm. So I would love to meet the person who's mm-hmm. ever trying to pick up anybody else. What do you do for a living? I'm part of poop brigade, girl. <laughs> Let me get that number. <laughs> Well, no, you would get a fancy name. Oh, like, like a badge? Oh, uh, you mean a name like for waste, the... Waste, waste manager. But they already have that. So what is the Godzilla one? Um, waste manager of foreign items. Because <laughs> he's from Japan <laughs> or China, wherever he's from? He's not, he's not. So what if he goes back there? What are they called? It's still foreign to them. No, it's he's not. not. He's from there. World. He is of this world. He's not of this. Why Nothing. are you trying to make so much logic? Okay, <laughs> they get a fancy name, twenty to an hour in Atlanta. Twenty to an hour, yeah. Okay, twenty to pick up. 
20 oh. you it's bumped gonna, it up 50 cents because it's gonna be at least you bumped it up people. 50 cents okay <laughs> that's what you just did i need you to go to war okay how much you paying me a dollar that's not enough a dollar 50 you know what that's what i wanted <laughs> That's well, the real you life. You do it by yourself. Every team is going to be four to seven people per pool. I feel like I'm going to need some hazmat radiation yeah. suits mm-hmm. you every day. That. Every day. No. You wash them. I'm going to need at least $50 to $100 an hour to mm-hmm. pick up this poop. Well, see, that's why you want to be selected for that job. I don't think anybody's going to go for that <laughs> job. Because that's, that's a little bit of money for a big job. You won't be doing it's it by yourself. It's the size of a teamwork. state. How big is this team? <laughs> Four to seven people. Four to seven people. <laughs> How much is a dog poop a day? And you want Godzilla who's going to poop a state-sized poop? <laughs> and you think it's going to take four to six people just to clean up this poop? How long is that poop going to take to clean up? Oh, that's going to be a good... That's that's a good question. You don't want it to last too long. It's going to rot and like kill the ozone layer or something. I'm pretty sure as soon as it comes out, it's going to kill the ozone layer. Yeah, but the longer it sits there, and four to five people ain't going to clean up that fast. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like Godzilla would probably poop once a day. So we'll once okay. a day? Would have you ever seen him poop in a movie? Well, exactly. they don't show people pooping in a movie. Period, unless it's a comedy. <laughs> exactly. So people don't poop necessarily in a movie. You know, people don't go to the bathrooms in movies. They don't do nothing in movies that in, 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 the little things in life that we normally do. They don't do it unless it's involving a comedic or point into something else like you don't see a lot of people brush their teeth unless it's like husband and wife he's like honey and then they're brushing their teeth that's Mm -hmm. it or it's a kid going to school other than that these people apparently have stank breaths the whole time how many times do you see people taking showers not a lot and the only times they show shower movies and when people take it sexually like they rub their hair i've never i've never (laughs) in my life taken a shower and then turned around and rubbed my face (laughs) and rubbed my hair and just looked up at the shower head never in my life who showers like this Oh, God. I'm sorry. This is the truest thing. I'm saying. I'm saying. That would be saying. something that would be in that other thing. Oh, just yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, we'll allow us at the end of one of these episodes. Like, nobody showers like this. Yeah, no one showers. Are like you not this. gonna drown? You know. Okay. <laughs> My next point would be that we would build. Okay. Okay. Let me be. Ex- me, okay. In the movie, uh, the. The, f- the one I've seen, mm-hmm. I don't know about the foreign ones where it actually, you know, they know what they're doing because they created Godzilla and they're, they're on it. Mm-hmm. In America, the first Godzilla I saw was the one with Matthew Broderick. Okay. Mm-hmm. If y'all Just don't know, so this in- Ferris Bueller. Right. Okay. But anyway, so mm-hmm. in that movie, they tried, to, they shot at him a lot. No, it was a her. They, I think it was a her. She had babies. I think mean, it was asexual. Can't remember. Mm-hmm. They shot at Godzilla a lot. Then they Godzilla shot, like, had babies? Yes. And oh. that was like at the end, which I loved. Uh, but they shot it a lot and they shot missiles and stuff, but it didn't really kill it or anything. And then even at the end, they were like, oh, we got it. But then there was one left. So they was trying to make a sequel, but people don't like it. Whatever. In the new one, I think they shot at it. But then it was helping them. I don't remember them. Anyway, I think eventually... We'll try to shoot at it. It won't work. And we'll try to shoot missiles. But I don't think it'll work. Like, I don't know why. Because it'll be, it'll be too big. And then it'll cover too much ground. And mm-hmm. I don't think we'll evacuate enough. Because if we if evacuate. we evacuate. Mm-hmm. And we're like, they're like, okay, we're going to evacuate from this area. Because that's where Godzilla's going to be. Mm-hmm. Right? I think he'll just step over <laughs> to another state. Because yes. he's so large. Yes. In a couple steps, he'll be out. And be like, I'm back where the people are. So they won't have a clear shot. Okay? So what we'll do is... We'll build a giant robot to fight Godzilla. So we're going to create a Transformer. No, the Transformer's too <laughs> tiny. Um, They're too tiny? Yeah, Godzilla's way bigger than a Transformer. Transformer's the size of a regular truck. Okay. Imagine a truck, just like a... A, a truck uh, standing up? Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> a truck, like, straight up and down. Imagine a truck straight up and okay, down. Okay, It's not that tall. Okay. Godzilla's like the size of a building. Which building? Oh, yeah, that's true. There are some, There's some tiny Like buildings. a skyscraper-ish. Mm-hmm. I think he's taller than skyscrapers. He's taller than skyscrapers. Okay. In some forms of him. Okay. In the Japanese one, I think he's just taller than everything. Okay, so we're going to build a <laughs> robot, right? And that kind of like a, that. like a, mm, what's a good robot? I, I keep thinking know, Big O, but you don't know what that oh, is. Oh, you know what? The, the robot from Power Rangers, is that big enough? You know what it might be. Mm-hmm. It might be like that one or the one from Pacific Rim. I think that one's pretty big. Yeah. Or um, 
there's, there's a couple I keep thinking of, but I can't think of them right now. Mm. All of these robot movies and shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. That, I think, would be big enough. And we punch it, and we destroy <laughs> Godzilla. Well, the robot would just do its thing. Yeah, the robot, no, we would be inside. I don't think we just, you know, Oh, we're just risking let it human release. people's lives. They're, they're going to be military people. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, they're going into war. Oh, so they know they're going to die. <laughs> Why would they die? What if they win? I mean, they might win, but I think there's going to be I some think we're going to win. I'm going to be positive, okay? Mm-hmm. This also will create um, other countries creating their own robots mm-hmm. after Godzilla's dead. And, and then we're just going to have a robot war. Another robot war. <laughs> robot another war. Ro- I think... To, another one, yes, because we had one already, apparently. To go with your idea, because in this day and age with all this technology, we wouldn't risk the... <laughs> <laughs> you nodding your head like yes, 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 yes. We wouldn't risk I think we would. humans. Yes, you know why? <laughs> to be inside of it. You know it. why? Because we could just control it. Yeah, but here's the problem. I think if we did that, someone would eventually hack it, and there you go. And then they just have their own toy. They could hack it with the people in it. Not really. Yeah. Because they there'd be an override button and stuff. That's not how that works. <laughs> yes, That's it not is. How any of That's that how that works. <laughs> no. You tell me. There's an override button. Have you seen Mr. Robot? Mr. Robot. Yes. The fictional TV show? Regardless, these hackers be about this life. It ain't just as simple as an override button. You can have an override button that shuts down all the electricity in it or in, or a EMP Unless inside of it. Unless they override your override. You can't. If you, you can. have an EMP inside of it, mm-hmm. it shuts down all electricity in that area. Mm-hmm. You can do that. You can't override an EMP. So they're going to take control and we're just going to shut off all the power. Yes. Okay. Plan song. <laughs> Foolproof. <laughs> What's your next point? <laughs> Mine, okay, so this is what we got here, right? So, my point is, if Godzilla were real, we would have to, to actually go with your point, figure out a way... Don't go with my point, get your own point. <laughs> ...to get rid of him. Yes, so, like, <laughs> I think that's every idea. Right. So, in my way, I wanted to use the Power Rangers, but they're not real people. No, they're not. So, we're going to use Marines. Okay. Because they're just like Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for you to meet a Marine. You just like a Power Ranger. Um, so how this would work out is the Marines, right, would in their ships, okay. Wait, I meant their rocket ships. <laughs> like astronauts? <laughs> Do you mean their planes? The planes, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know I was going with it. Yes. Okay. Um, now we're looking. We're gonna need about, I say, a good twenty, twenty to thirty-five planes. Okay. I like rocket ships though, but because <laughs> we're going into space. Oh uh, well, no, 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 well, no. We're just we're flying near the Godzilla. I had to remember what it was. <laughs> and we're flying near the Godzilla to get its attention and to draw it away from the city because we're trying to. What if get... it doesn't follow you? Are you like hanging meat or something in front of it? Whatever, whatever captures, I guess what, if what people. What it's a vegan? What if it. Uh, what is, well, I don't know. How do you lead a Godzilla? What is, I don't know. Like? I don't know. I feel like it if just you does shoot its own at, thing. I feel like if you shoot at it, it's going to like. Want you what to if stop. it goes away? <laughs> what if it runs the opposite direction? It's not going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> what not, did I ever do to you? <laughs> besides destroy our city. It was so. an accident. I'm only so big. I can't help it. I went to a place where there was no one here. Are you saying Godzilla's misunderstood now? Yes. <laughs> But yes, so however necessary, we will draw the Godzilla away from the city. Why do you keep saying the Godzilla? It's just Godzilla. <laughs> it's, not, it's not multiples. The <laughs> you got the Godzilla there, the Godzilla there. Um, and then once we've gotten him away from the city, we're going to lead him into water. And this is where you have rocket ships come into play. Okay. But it's a, I think it water is its natural state or something. Because it can swim very well. Oh, no, no. We are done. That's fine. It's going to get into the water. Okay. Now, because we want, that's why. That was so, would you have submarines, not rocket ships? No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is my point. That's yours. I'm just trying to make sense <laughs> of it. Okay. Okay. We want him to be comfortable. Okay. Because okay. this is where he's going to die. I got you. Know? you. So, we got our Marines. Everybody's in place. You know, we're swimming around. You know, swimming. I meant to say it like that. Swimming around, getting his attention. Oh, swimming. Swimming. No, swim. Zoom. Swarming? No, I want to say swarming. I like that. No, I meant what real word is this going to? Oh, work? yes. Um, swarming. You oh, know, okay, swarming. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. I was mixing up swimming and swarming. <laughs> I didn't know which one. Like, are they swimming? No, 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 we're not in the water. Okay, you're swarming. Okay. Swarming. Oh, you're not in the water with him. Right, no, no. Oh, we're he's just, just lead, in the water. Right, we're you're swarming up top. To, right, we're okay. leading him to okay. the water. I got you. I got now, you. once he gets into the water, mm-hmm. I guess this is when we really do need a rocket ship. 
since we got the planes, I guess, you know. We're going to take, someone's going to have to sacrifice their life. Why? Why can't they do it remotely? They just can't. That's the point. That's just not going to (laughs) happen. This is not going to happen. Okay. We're going, we're getting Independence Day with this, all right? I don't, I didn't see that movie. Until the end. I didn't see the end. You didn't see the guy flying to the ship? I thought he was alive. Yeah, he didn't survive when he crashed. I thought he did. Is he not in the next movie? Oh, no. I'm mixing up my trivia. That wasn't supposed to be the end of the movie. Oh, okay. They made it the end of the movie. But I was like, there was something with trivia that I know about that scene. But I thought it was that he survived, but he did not. Yeah, you no. are correct. Okay. Well, with the, with the crop plane. Yeah. Right. So, with our rocket ship, once we have gotten the Godzilla in there, he's going to be roar, roar. You know, he'll be doing that. In the water. Well, he's not, he's not, I mean, it takes a minute for him to get all the way down in the water. Right now, he's just, he's just kind of on, he's on the top. He's still trying to swipe Look around, at the planes. Like, stop it, planes. Right, he's swiping what at the I planes. He's angry. He's angry. He's, he's angry, angry. yes. He's, he's angry. You know, he's breathing fire for some reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're shooting at me. What you mean? Um, and then this rocket ship, as he's breathing fire, they're going to time it just right. And they're going to fly into his mouth. It go boom. And <laughs> That's gonna kill Godzilla. It's gonna blow him up. It's gonna blow up his head, anyways. Because we need to decapitate him to really end this. So <laughs> I was gonna think of some, you know, um, very talented swordsman, but I couldn't think of anybody that a swordsman. Able- well, what's the other word? It, you know, With a sword. No, with a gun, a swordsman. Yes, a swordsman no, I'm with just, a sword. I just can't <laughs> comprehend that you thought. Oh, let's shoot Godzilla. Now you know it'd be great. A swordsman. What? Well, the, the- Zoro? <laughs> Are you going to get Zoro to go fight Godzilla? I would love to watch Zoro fight Godzilla. That'd be amazing. Because we need someone to decapitate him. Yes, a Zoro could. <laughs> that- Regular guy Zoro could take on Godzilla, I believe. So. <laughs> oh my God. But yes, and then he would go boom. I am Antonio Benitez. <laughs> <laughs> he'll put a Z in his neck and he'll be like ow why'd you do that <laughs> this is what Godzilla sounds like stop it man this tiny tiny little voice but it's very gigantic gigantic beast Zoro's like hello I am Zoro and then Godzilla's like hi how you doing and he puts his little Z he's like, he's like ow why'd you do that ow stop it you're so crazy so crazy Zoro and just smashes Zoro. <laughs> just squishes him. How about Zoro? Oh, I'm so sorry, Zoro. Ain't no time for no. My last point is that we were getting a rocket ship and we go to another planet. Everybody? Everybody. We take shifts. Like, I mean, not shifts, but we take, you know. Shifts of taking people. We, first, we vote. Oh, every, or everyone gets a number. Mm-hmm. You know? Maybe all evens go on a certain day, all odds go on another day. Or. You go in certain months if you survive, okay? If you do, because you know he's he, we can't control he's him. There, he's still right. there. He's just stomping around doing whatever. And now, where are we going? Uh, where are we trying to go? Mars right now? Jupiter? No, I meant to live. I think it's Mars. Can't be Jupiter. I'm gonna go with Mars. Mars, okay. <laughs> Even though, don't know how to fix the the breathing thing. Okay, mm-hmm. I guess domes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, NASA yeah. going to be working overtime. Yeah, exactly. You know what that'll help out with? Employ more people. Well, no, everybody can't work at NASA. I'm just saying that some people, more people will be employed, <laughs> okay? Gosh. <laughs> to build a plan, <laughs> and we'd all go to Mars, leave Godzilla here, we got a new planet to destroy and ruin ourselves. Mm, if <laughs> and we he just survive, be here. we get on there. No, some people would survive, I'm just saying. Some, not all. Not all. I wonder what that... See, here's my issue. Then, like, what happens next? Like, we have to start society over. You know, do we rewrite history books? Like, what happens? This would be interesting. That would be interesting. Science would be different because, you you know, it's different science on Mars. And, and we can't do the same thing. And we're something new. Yeah. So, hmm. Mm. Would we just be worried about teaching the kids or just worried about surviving and creating an agriculture and stuff like that? I feel like but, they would learn as they go. Somebody will be like, let's educate our youth. Yay. And like, we ain't got time for that, okay? No. Okay. We got to hurry up and settle because other people coming up here before Godzilla kills them. Mm. There you go. Interesting. And that's my final point. Let's do a recap. Mm-hmm. Eve, what are your three points? Mine are that there would be death okay. by tsunamis. Yes. Because he Godzilla would be stepping in the water. This is why it takes so long, because you explained it. <laughs> <laughs> um, more jobs would be created to help clean up Godzilla's poop. 
Um, the last point is the way that we would kill Godzilla, leading him into the water by the Marines, not the Power Rangers, unfortunately, because they're not real, but leading him into the water, uh, flying a rocket ship into his mouth, down his throat to get to get to tap to. Uh, decapitate him and yes. kill him. Along with Zoro. Zoro's not in there. Yes, Zoro's He's in not there. in my point. <laughs> the power range is where I'm Zoro's in there. Okay, my three points is everyone blame the president uh, because they always blame the president. My second point is we would build a giant robot to defeat Godzilla and then there would be a robot war. And then my third point is that we would all get on a rocket and go to another planet, mostly to Mars. Mars. And mostly Mars. Yeah, pretty much Mars. No Plutos. No. Uh, no, it's and too cold. I think we get some nice Eskimo jackets. No. Do we, do we die? We freeze to death. Oh, it's disappointing. It is. Not I'm really. sure we can create a heat I don't want to be that far. From what? <laughs> From what? <laughs> From you have no... Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't know you were so sentimental about it. But anyway, that's yeah. the show, guys. <laughs> that's the show, guys. Uh, Eve, you want to tell them where they can find us? On YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher... And can she get it? Can <laughs> she get called? it? The, in the end, in the tomorrow, in the damn, what's the other? You just put us on um, in the in tune, in tune. Let's flip it around. Tune in. There we yeah. go. <laughs> Yay. You want me to redo all that? No, it's fine. It's fine with me. <laughs> all right. And then I hope you guys got all that. Again, you can always find us on any of those channels or what was the proper word? Any of those social medias. Social medias. Um, at the Real and Real Pod, if you want to critique us, you know, give us some ideas, talk to us. Better yet, how about you guys let us know whose 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 point you like more, David's or mine? Let us know at the Real and Real Pod on Twitter, or you can tweet us individually. <laughs> on oh wait, I was gonna say on Twitter, David, where you at? It's a Christian. That's David's Twitter, and then Eve's Twitter is a Miss the Lovely underscore Cubs. That's all I got. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash real and real pod. Oh, did you want uh, to say? Just a dollar, and you'll pretty much get everything. A dollar a day will keep the ho- mm. hose away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say. A dollar what? a day, keep the hose away. I don't know what that I'm means. sorry if you played this for your children. <laughs> I mean, what a hose. They're what the water comes out of, sweetie. Oh, I was going to say to mm, tend the garden. That's, what the, that's a water hose. No, to tend the garden. Oh, is that a hole? Yeah, that's a hole. Like a back hole or a hole. Oh, oh, the hole, hole. Okay. <laughs>